It could have gone wrong for Athletic South Africa, who took a larger than expected team to the under 18 and under 20 African Championships. But they continued Mzansi's dominance on the continent. The five day event ended on Wednesday with a successful team returning from Dola Zambia yesterday. ENCA's Tony Mtimkulu was at our Tambo International. but vocal crowd welcomed the return of South Africa's athletes from successful continental championships in Zambia. For many of the high school learners making their way back, it was their first taste of international competition. Oh, it's exciting. It's different to what I've been well, I'm used to, what I've been exposed to. When I got there, I heard competition was going to be tough. They've had professional training overseas, so I was just hoping for well, top of podium was more of like a dream to get. Once I was in the circle, it felt really amazing on that on that stage and everything, and also the fact that that I, I took a medal as well. Um, yeah, and and you yeah, that that I'm really I'm I'm happy. I'm. Stuttering like I don't know, but, but, but yeah, it's it's really it's the happiness and man, it's a honor to to, to represent your your country. The championships are not bad, but running against those Nigerian speakers was something else. But I can rate it ten out of ten. Athletic South Africa continues to put its faith in its young athletes and that confidence has been duly rewarded with a team of nearly 90 athletes returning from the Youth and Junior Athletics Championships for the staggering 66 medals. Having often restricted team sizes to medal hopefuls, ASA took a gamble by looking further down the rankings for athletes to make up their contingent this time. Yes, indeed. Some of them have proven us wrong because they were third, but they managed to be first and second. So for that, it motivates them. We were the only team or we were the only country that brought a, a big team from, from South Africa. With that, it motivates some of these youngsters going forward. For 16-year-old Dumira Mokhopa, gold in both the long and short hurdles has added a step to her game. Well, I didn't expect such wins. Um, what I told myself is that I'm going to do what I can. Even if I am second, I'm third, I'm just going to run that race, knowing that I'm running with a, with a smile, knowing that I trained hard to actually be where I am. It gives me a lot of confidence that I am capable of doing anything. If I was capable of running with seniors, then anything is possible. With the greater medal haul than expected, ASA hope they can keep the bulk of these young athletes on the track and on the field long enough for success building up to the 2028 Olympics. Flonim Timkulu, Kempton Park.